Hi, hi guys, I'm Anna and here is something really, really beautiful for you. Guys, we're gonna get the third PTR. We got the third patch notes for Diablo Resurrected for patch 2.4 and here they are guys and they are, well, spoiler, they are incredibly, incredibly sweet. There are a lot of changes that we were secretly hoping but, I don't know, never dreaming that we will actually get them. So guys, let's see, let's dive in together and let's see what's actually there. So first of all, new PTR, PTR number three will drop on March 2nd so actually already tomorrow guys so be ready we don't have the exact time we never have the exact time for the PTR but it will be for me I'm in Europe I'm in Germany so for me it will be second March 2nd but somewhere in the evening so guys you can like plan think a little bit but yeah we don't have the exact time here when exactly it will drop and what we got and what's actually coming uh first of all it's gonna be later testing like yeah because later in diablo resurrected is coming and now on this PTI, yeah, later is now available for testing and the team will be emulating a later season start and end during the PTI. So we will get the chance like to test the later start and to test all the features, all the things that you will be able to see in the later. Also guys, big gigantic change and the whole community was begging for this one, it's an uber Diablo guys. Tell me please in the comment who actually ever did this, who actually ever killed uber Diablo, okay, because I well didn't, because it's a crime to sell so many Stone of Jordan rings, I don't have a Stone of Jordan, well... I do have one here, but I don't have the one in the game. I don't know how. I have Enigma. I have a lot of really, really cool things. But unfortunately, this is my, I don't know, uh, Holy Grail. I know I can't get Stone of Jordan, uh, Stone of Jordan and just to sell it, like to sell insane amount of Stone of Jordans, just to spam Uber Diablo, this is illegal. But now we got some changes here in this regard. And what is really, really cool, um, Uber Diablo progress for each game type will now be kept by the original database. When the threshold is met, so when you sold a lot of a lot of uh, Stone of Jordans, I think it's 120 guys, you can correct me in the comments. Um, so when the trash cold is met by selling enough stone of Jordan rings, Uber Diablo will spawn for everyone in the same region, not only those on the same server instance. So we're talking for everyone on the same region, like the same region we are talking right now, we are talking about like the whole European region. This is insane, this is incredibly cool and uh, you wanna tell me that I will actually see Uber Diablo? Wow! Okay. Okay. Like, this is the actually wonderful change here. And yeah, just incredibly happy. Really wanna see it on the PTR and actually uh, feel it, how it's all working. And I don't know, Uber Diablo, come on, guys. Come on, how, how he looks. Tell me how... Is there something? <laughs> so, guys, really, really happy with this change. Also, got some class changes. Yeah, we have before that, we have uh, PTI patch notes number one, patch notes number two. Now we have also number three, and here is some juice, here is some sweetness is waiting for us. First of all, for Amazon, we have Impale animation speed for Impale increased by 30%, which will make it work way smoother and more beautiful. Some changes for Plug Javelin. Clearly the team is trying to balance Amazon in terms of there is like for Amazon the best build is Lightning Jav Javazon. It's absolutely amazing, sexiest build ever. It's really, really beautiful, my favorite build. But there is also other mechanics, other nice things for Amazon, but they're not so powerful, not so interesting. And clearly the team is trying to, uh, to balance it, to make other Amazon builds valuable. And here, what do, what do we have for Plug Javelin? This is my ultimate dream, actually, to play Plug Javelin. 
Uh, plug shiveling poison duration is no longer fixed at three seconds as it was in the previous PTR, but its duration and damage scaling has been adjusted compared to life. This should net out a 20% damage per second increase at level one, a 33% damage per second increase at maximum level, guys. So we got a beautiful buff for plug javelin for uh, poison javazon. I really, really hope that plug, that Poison Javazon will be a little bit better, that it will be more valuable in the late game. I'm not saying that it will be like super duper powerful and that like on the same level that uh, Lightning uh, Javazon, but still, no, I don't know, would be just freakingly amazing to play Poison Javazon a little bit higher than just on normal. So guys, let's see. Also, we got beautiful changes. We got a buff for multi shot for uh, immolation arrow cooldown reduced by 40% for guided arrow. Also, we got a damage buff, added synergies, added synergies also for multi shot. And we also got the buff for Strafe uh, with synergies from the multi shot and from the guided arrow. Okay, guys, for Assassin, we got here also a little bit. Wake of Inferna added yard calculation to the Wake of Inferna tooltip. And we got a little nice buff for Blade Fury attack ratings increased by 10%. For Barbarian, there is a lot of beautiful things. <laughs> the developers are clearly trying to improve Barbarian. Barbarian is a, like, I have always said, a pretty questionable character in Diablo 2. So we got for leap attack, extra physical damage to surrounding enemies uh, within a range of 4.6 yards when landing from a leap attack. Okay, awesome. Uh, modified leap and leap attack jump to get it a smoother trajectory that should keep Barbarian on screen all the time. Lip and lip attack now have a minimum jump height and duration and increased mana cost of leap attack. So we got a bit of a damage increase for the leap attack. Okay, guys, let's see. Let's see how it will be. Okay, sword mastery here. Uh, first of all, it was renamed to blade mastery and uh, why? Why now? Uh, because now it affects darkers in addition to swords. And we got the buff here for Sword Mastery, increased base attack bonus to 40% from 28%. Not bad. Also for Axe Mastery, also for Mace Mastery, we got some buffs. Yeah, attack rating increased, attack rating increased here. Uh, increased base attack bonus also. We got some buffs for Barbarian, that's great. Polrem uh, Mastery also increased base attack bonus to 44. Spear Mastery increased base attack bonus to 44. Beautiful buffs. Throwing Mastery, yeah, increased base attack bonus, added chance to not consume quantity per level up to 50% and critical strikes with throwing weapon now replenish quantity, which is actually really, really convenient and should be nice. Okay, guys, but I don't know, probably the sexiest thing in this patch note so far for me is the changes for Druid. Here we have Armageddon. So some changes for Armageddon for those uh, crazy, crazy uh, meteors from the sky. Uh, remove the hurricane skill requirement for Armageddon. Thank God don't have to put points there. Increase the missile damage radius of, Mar of, uh, of Armageddon by 33%. Thank you for this. Increase the missile drop rate of, Mar of Armageddon by about 30%. Guys, Armageddon, yeah, the problem with Armageddon that, yeah, you are shooting meteors from the sky, but they are hitting nothing, so you can't control them, and, well, usually they're not dealing that much damage, but hopefully with this increase, damage radius increase, um, missile drop rate increased, hopefully it will be a little bit better, because Armageddon is a hilarious skill, and you actually truly feel yourself the master of, I don't know, fire, the master, the destroyer of the world because you're summoning Armageddon, you're summoning freaking meteors from the sky. That's awesome skill. And guys, but again, the juiciest juice, Druid can now have 
spirit wolves, dire wolves and bears all summoned at the same time. And if this is not what you were praying for when you were playing Druid, then I don't know what you even want. Because guys, yeah, that was the ultimately stupid thing. You could have only, either you have a wolf or, or either, either you have wolves or you have a bear and not like different types of wolves. Yeah, only one type of wolf all the time. And we it, it caused like lack of damage. And the whole effect that's like Necromancer has a summon, uh, uh, Necromancer summoning a freaking skeleton army, but the druid had a potential to summon zoo, to summon druid army with all the pets. And now we finally got it. I want to see this. I want to see it, how they're going to be. Five spirit wolves, five dare wolves, a bear, a raven, spirits, I don't know, something else. Give me something else. Uh, and all of them are running together and all of them are killing and a druid is staying there behind and like... No, yeah, how is going? How is going? You killed already everything. I am going, yeah. So, yeah, that's the ultimate dream. And uh, yes, come, yes, that's absolutely great. That is something that I personally really like and want to play. Also, we have here Werewolf, Fury, Werebear, all of those changes here. So, for Werewolf. Um, yeah, with the Werewolf, with this attack speed calculations, we had um, so many changes already happened, but what we finally got here. Werewolf now uses the new attack speed calculation that was originally introduced in the PTR, so in the first PTR notes. Race, uh, raised Werewolf attack speed cap from 75% to 150%. Guys, I am not quite a Werewolf player i'm not quite i tried i tried this build but it's a, it's a melee build it's a melee game play i am no, like not quite into it let's say i would be trying it again in the ptr hopefully i will like this with this attack speed changes i will enjoy it more but leave your comment below what do you think are you happy would you prefer something else here for fury we have also increased speed between attacks by 40 percent and for Werebear, a lot of things here. Werebear now uses the attack speed calculation from the previous PTR. We raised re uh, Werebear attack speed cap to 150%. Damage bonus per level increased from 8% to 15%. Base defensive value increased. Uh, defense bonus per level increased. Can be interrupted when performing attacks or skills. Okay, guys, nice, beautiful buff for Werebear. Okay, wonderful to see. By the way, I prefer Werebear over uh, Werewolf. I don't know. I like to be the bear and I like the game style, the, the yeah gameplay more here. So, would love to see the changes here, how those actually will be working. Maul also now grants 3% attack speed per charge. A lot of attack speed for the Werebear, for the Werewolf. Okay. And for Necromancer here, also not so many changes here yeah, happening for the Necromancer because Necromancer is pretty sexy already. But the only like thing here was added some uh, some things for the Blood Golem and for the Fire Golem because yeah those golems are not quite people are not using them that much. Okay, they're just some. Uh, weird golems there and that's why we got 20% reduction in mana cost applied per level attack damage increased by about 20% the same for fire golem and holy fire level bonus per level restored to one from two and yeah guys uh so Developers are trying to make us use those blood golem fire golem and to give some variety like what would you how would you prefer to build your necromancer which golem would you like to take no hopefully wanna use blood golem wanna use fire golem they're funny little creatures running around with you so let's see and here we have paladin and paladin is Hilarious. Yeah, guys, you saw in the first PTR the holy fire madness that with the scaling of the area damage, we got this absolutely insane holy fire build where you were just running around and killing absolutely everything. It is hilarious. There was a lot of a lot of de debates. Should it be like this? Like, 
On one hand, this build was is insanely, insanely expensive. You you need a lot of a lot of rooms. It's insane. On the other hand, well, if well, should it even exist this mechanic in the game if uh, you're not dealing, you're not you're not doing anything. You're just running around. Everything is dead. Um, it's not working. It's working like this on a single player. It's not working, of course, like this on a, on eight player game. But still. Well, it's, it existed, it was there. And on the second PTR, this mechanic was changed, the Holy Fire was nerfed, and well, yeah, it was not the case anymore. It was still doing some damage, but of course, not so overwhelming, not so destroying everything. And um, now we got, we are somewhere in between. So the developers like the idea of the, of the Holy Fire build, like the idea of the new calculation system for the Auras, for the Paladin Auras, but uh, yeah, clearly it probably was too much on how it was on the first PTR. So what we got here ch uh, changed for Holy Fire, for, oh, for Holy Freeze, for a lot of hours, changed how the proximity bonus for area damage is calculated. It will now deal 200% damage to enemies at melee range. We also got here a, a little buff for the for Holy Fire. Resist Fire's energy increased from 18 to 21%. So guys, drop PTR here. Let's all play Paladin and let's all play Holy Fire on PTR and see how it will be. Once again, guys, this build, which was allowing this insane, insane damage, it is incredibly expensive and like, I don't believe that I will ever be playing it on the actual season, but well, on PTR, let me try, let me see, let me have a good laugh with this. And let's see how this change with the area damage uh, is uh, actually working, how it's performing. Also, yeah, for taunts, um, now deals a flat amount of damage when hit in addition to returning a percentage of damage taken to the enemy when hit. Sexy? Not sexy, guys? Tell me in the comments. Holy Freeze is here. Changed how the proximity, yeah, error damage calculations we see here and some updates for the tooltips. Holy Shock, once again, proximity uh, bonus for error damage and for Sanctuary, we have absolutely the same. Yeah, for like a lot of hours, we have this change. For Holy Bolt, now damages demons in addition to undead. Fist of the Heavens, again, demons in addition to undead. Sorry, sorry to demons. I don't know how they will survive it. Too bad. So we got it. Also, guys, for Sorceress here, Nova mana cost reduced. The initial mana cost is now 13 from 15. No, cool for Nova, cool for Sorceress. For Mercenaries, we also got here some smoothie changes. For Rogue Archer in Act 1, can now use Amazon Bows, can now gain plus Amazon skill bonuses from gear. This will make her more powerful, thank God for Amazon Bows. Okay, will be nice and nice and beautiful not sure i am i was so excited about the rogue archer mercenary actually but uh well i forgot one one thing i'm usually playing ranged characters and when you're playing the ranged characters uh, character you need a melee follower melee mercenary because well no someone should be actually attacking them someone should be tanking someone should be stopping um, everyone uh, when you are staying there behind when your character is staying there behind and shooting something and well it did not work with the rogue archer it literally looked like together my character and the rogue archer we are both running away from the monsters and well oops oops i don't know how that happened yeah that unfortunately rogue was not a, such a wonderful thing for me on the other hand i totally understand that for a lot of players who are playing um like the other way around melee characters rogue can be actually like a sweet sweet addition and hopefully now it will be really powerful and really nice also we have here for act three mercenary iron wolf uh swept frozen armor for chilling armor well sweet for barbarian we have for barbarian warrior from act five like i need to, do i need to use this guy 
um, now can now gain plus barbarian skill bonuses, so which is okay, really nice um, for barbarian uh, follower. A new ferocious barbarian is available for hire from Quack. Oh, thank you so much, new sexy guy. These warriors can can not use two-handed swords, but are well trained in the art of dual wielding, utilizing the frenzy, taunt, and the iron skin abilities. They lure enemies in and unleash a fierce barrage of attacks. Okay, guys, I need to check this new barbarian and see how he, how he will be tanking and staying alive somewhere like in front of me when I will be when my Amazon will be destroying everyone. Okay, he also we got here something for the rune words. We got for plug. Plug can now be used on clothes and daggers in addition to swords. And thank you so much. That's giving you some variety. Um, infinity, obedience, and pride can now be used by spears and Amazon spears. And uh, thank you so much. Yeah, like we can now use all of this as well. Level, area, and monster updates increased unique monster density in the new level 85 areas. Yeah, guys, this is incredibly sweet because yeah, in the previous PTR patches we got a lot of areas, new eight, uh, areas 85, but well. Uh, it's a new area 85, but if there is no monsters, not enough monsters, then what's even the point to go there anyway? So, and like this, we're getting more varieties, um, more variety, where can you go and where can you farm your runes, where you can, you can you farm like really beautiful pieces of gear. Okay, general updates. Added a player messaging for when a player tries to launch the game, on and out of date patch version. Added message of the day capabilities to the main menu to allow us to share important game updates with all players. AI. Improved the re reliability of pets, summons, and mercenaries teleporting to the player instead of being despawned. <laughs> pets, some. Oh my gosh. I mean, there will be a little bit. Not, a, but it's only teleporting. Yeah, improved the pet summon mercenaries teleporting to the player. So well, our summons, our pets, our mercenaries still a little bit dummy, but at least it will be teleporting better. Uh, barbarian updated barbarian leap and leap attack animation behavior to give it a smoother trajectory. Yeah, we saw this. Keep barbarian all uh, yeah all time on the screen and also reduce jerkiness when he lands. I don't know the word jerkiness, guys. Can someone translate it for me in the comments? Mm, character selection. Uh, newly created characters will now soar to the top of the character selection list. Not like sweet. Mercenaries, uh, your eyes will now display if the mercenary cannot use a skill because they are too low level. Wow, actually. Online, added messaging if the if a player attempts to create a private channel with a name longer than the character limit. Added a offline chat command which sets your user preference to offline. So I can play, set it to offline and no one will see me. <laughs> Vendors. Players can now buy pre-fill tomes and keys when using a controller. Hell yeah. And performance optimized particle effects on some console platforms added a quality option for PC players. Optimized inventory quick move actions to reduce uh, delay. Yeah, nice quality of life changes. And in the settings we got here, the offline game difficulty scale setting will now persist between game sessions. Added an option to choose whether or not to confine your mouse cursor to the game screen. Added a RAM usage bar in the setting menu. Sweetness. We got some back. Wow. Wow. We got some. <laughs> Oh guys, we got a lot of, a lot of, a lot of bug fixes. And there is, yeah guys, a lot, a lot of everything. I don't know, everything was fixed, guys. I will put the link in the description. You can also see here deeply which exactly things were fixed. But like, yeah, wow, wow. 
everything, pretty much everything in all the directions here, guys. So, wonderful people. Soon already, tomorrow, yeah, BTR will drop and soon we're gonna check it, soon we're gonna see all of this, all of those sweet changes and bug fixes. And so guys, I am waiting for you on the PTR. I will be playing, I will be checking, I will be checking and be playing, uh, testing all the characters. So leave your comment below uh, how excited you are. Do you like the changes? I know you like the changes, but like, yeah, what's making you smile the most, basically. So big thank you for watching. See you soon on the PTR and check out my streams. Mm.